St. Bartholomew's Church and Cemetery. Affectionately known by locals as St. Bart's, it was built in Prospect, Western Sydney in 1841. Many of the first parishioners are buried in the cemetery, as well as early settlers and a famous explorer, William Lawson, and his family. Originally an Anglican church, there were members of other religions buried in the grounds, which now is taking no more burials. By day, the stunning old church stands high above Prospect Hill. It can be seen from many viewpoints in the area. Also from the hill, you can view the Sydney skyline. No longer do they hold mass in the church, but still is able to be hired for weddings. It is a lovely place to visit and to see some of Australia's history. Social distance, they're dead. Something must live on here. Mm. Go to park wherever you want. I guess so. Bartholomew's Cemetery. Prospect. And church. St. Bartholomew's. Some very old graves. Looking for William Lawson's grave. Wow. Some of the headstones have fallen off. You know, you know, you would have been a tough person to live till 82 back in 1883 and pass mm. away then, you know. That's it. I'll, uh, I can grab a little footage too. Mm. There's Sydney in the background. Wow, great old view here when you can see the city. Like, I'm gonna locate William Lawson. Looks like it might well be here. The restoration of the William Lawson vault. Carolyn Lawson. Widow of the late William Lawson. And second son, Thomas James Lawson. Mm. I'll get around here. Let's see what's on top. to get a photo of all that. It'd have to be about eight foot to get all of this from here. And I've got a little bit of breakage happening here. That's a massive looking thing. Hmm. I won't stop on anyone's grave too long for respectful purposes. And there doesn't seem to be anything written on this one that I can see, but it's massive and it's most likely old. It's the side of a church. I have to get some photos later to see if we can see anything in the windows. Samuel Charles, youngest son of the late William and Carol Carolyn Lawson. A veteran hall prospect. Died 33. Gee. It's a bit young. We've got a fair few graves here. Some of the oldest graves. Not the oldest. We're going to see that a bit later. But some of the oldest graves. St. Bartholomew's was quite an old 
old, old cemetery. I mean, if William Lawson was buried here, and you can tell, I'm not going to get too close, some of these graves are sinking. A lot of the headstones have fallen off, been broken. I know they do ghost tours here, so we'll whip out the old spirit box soon. We don't want to miss out on some fun, some action. Wow, there are a lot of graves that are a bit. broken we've got Prospect Homemaker Centre over there Great Western Highway with the M4 big freeway and lots more graves these are the earlier graves here looks like there might be more down far down there the back of Bartholomew's church and the reservoir was back over there that way where William Lawson lived veteran hall this is Prospect Hill <laughs> the massive view of Sydney. It's amazing. I'm definitely going to get some photos around here. Mm. I'm just trying to work out the best course of entry past there. Looks like it's grave after grave. There might be a patch of grass over there I can walk on. don't really want to walk on anyone's grave. Ooh, what have we got here? Clark. Too. Look at that. That's the side of the church. Wow, it's amazing. How many graves? And they all overlook the city. Nice spot. Wow, uh, some of these graves I'll have to be careful not walking on anyone's grave. Some of these are that old and you can't read what was on them anymore. And their families have probably long gone. And their descendants may not come to visit us very often or at all. I'm going to try and delicately walk around here without treading on anyone underneath. Eighteen eighty one, that was quickly. Zoom in without saying saying too much. Respect for the people who the descendants. Oh, it's so sad when you see them sunken in. It's quite a lot of uh, 
cemeteries in Australia, old cemeteries that have ended up like this. The grounds move. The main thing is it's still here. Aside from the cemetery that was in the city, I believe most of our cemeteries have been untouched. There was a cemetery in the city that was moved. Don't know how the residents feel about that. The dead residents, that is. Don't believe they'd like to be moved. <laughs> Maybe they don't care. But yes, city progression moved the bodies of many in a cemetery. Devonshire Street, I believe. Hope to get to that too. Wouldn't mind having a look. Where the old. So that's 1959 and 1964 people are being buried here amongst very old graves. Some of these look pretty new. It's possibly descendants are being buried with their families along lines. Wow. I hope to get to a couple of the other cemeteries as well. We're going to do the Parramatta ones. And eventually we'll get to Rookwood and a couple of the other older ones, Waverley. I've actually got my ancestors in some of those. So that'll be interesting and we're going to venture out to other more rural parts of New South Wales. And a, yeah, I don't know what that's all about. Wet and wilds over that way. Church on the hill. Well, it's a shame the sun doesn't set this way. <laughs> Could have had a nice sunset <laughs> behind the church. So, section four and three. I might walk through this area here. I would have paid good money for these uh, burial sites and headstones. Hmm. Fair few unmarked graves. That's pretty. Can't read that one anymore, but it is pretty. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Breathing holes. <laughs> <laughs> wow goes a fair way back goes a fair way back Lebon just quickly there's a street called Lebon I wonder if that's got anything to do with that family well, there's plenty of room for more but it's a little bit of a slope Oh, that looks a bit. There you go. Reminds me of Thriller. Video for Thriller where they're all coming out of the ground. <laughs> Perhaps a broken concrete and broken broken gravesite might allow them easier exit. I do apologize if any names are seen of people who families who don't want their ancestors graves looked at or seen so i'm trying not to concentrate on anyone in particular besides william there's most likely more well-known people here but the most famous would be william lawson Hmm. 
there's more over there. Hmm. Sun setting. of destroyed places here. Wow. The church is something. Sitting through there. I'll have to catch that. Ooh, that was a bit fast. Let me get some photos. Seem to get a lot of things in photos. <laughs> These kind of places. have to watch where you're going around here and you can sometimes be walking on people you don't even realize it it's ominous from the back hmm.